Every year, students from around the world meet in an international conference. They are all members of an extraordinary organization, the Future Problem Solving Program. They make new friends, they share ideas, and they create solutions to real-world issues. They are the best and brightest, tomorrow's pathfinders, but they began their journey long before this international conference in educational settings spread across four continents. Each of these students is here thanks to the guidance from a very special mentor, a future problem-solving coach. You know, we're at international conference right now and I have met so many coaches here. I've seen them over the years and these coaches are all different and I think the quality they have in common is that they are determined to serve the kids, to uh, be there with the kids and give that extra time. It's like I, I keep saying, it's not easy, but it's the most rewarding thing that I've ever done. It's wonderfully rewarding. The kids learn amazing things from this. They're problem solvers. They can go into any kind of a situation later on in life and they'll be able to solve it. And that's what it's all about. That's what they do. It's really fruitful, very rewarding for the kids, and enjoyable for me as an adult because I learn, I research the topics of the kids and I've learned new things every year. And it opens up my view of the world. Your work as a coach will be challenging. It's not something everyone can do. But there's a reason most coaches stay in the program year after year. You have to remember what it's all about. It's all about the kids. And this is, this is high level analytical, creative, critical thinking that we can offer our children. Future problem solving gives your students creative thinking skills they'll rely on for the rest of their lives. And you'll find that you can tailor the program to fit their needs and your own strengths as a teacher. Coaches can deliver this program however fits them best. We actually have a book and the very first page is bulleted about 35, 40 different ways you can teach this program. I've known teachers who took their entire language arts curriculum in the middle school years and they made that, the future problem solving topics, that became their literature. That's what they read about. Some coaches meet on Saturday afternoons. They take their Saturdays with their kids and they have a club. Others have a pullout program. They see them once a week. They maybe see them uh, for a subject area, it doesn't matter. It's all done however they fit it in. The Future Problem Solving Program is built around four components. Team and individual problem solving for global issues, action-based problem solving, community problem solving, and scenario writing. They're offered to students from fourth grade through high school, and there are three age divisions. Junior, for grades four through six, middle, for grades 7 through 9, and senior for grades 10 through 12. Team and individual problem solving for the global issues component centers on a hypothetical future scene. Since the specifics are unknown until competition begins, this timed event demands creativity and clear thinking under pressure. In action-based problem solving, a class works together as a team or teams to complete the challenges presented to them. Teachers and students learn creative problem solving and higher level thinking and action skills in a non-threatening environment. These displays illustrate community problem solving, in which groups of students apply the principles of the future problem solving program to real world challenges in their schools, communities or affiliates. In community problem solving, students move from ideas to action and bridge the gap between the classroom and the real world. We conducted a, a, pre, a presentation on uh, drug awareness and to uh, increase drug awareness in our in lower grades. And, um, and we're from the lower part of New Mexico from North Valley Elementary. We're from Chicago, Illinois. Um, we're, we are the PADS, which stands for Pioneer System of the Homeless Shelter. We are the Coventry Caretakers. We're from Coventry, Connecticut, and we started a composting and recycling program at our school. Individual students can also compete in scenario writing, where they create short stories related to future problems and read those scenarios for an audience. Top teams from each affiliate program come to the International Conference each year, where they present creative action plans aimed at solving the topic. These students have written their booklets. They've come up with an action plan at the end, step six, 
and now they have two hours to go into a room, put together a way to dramatically present for an audience. They have to think on their feet as they get a scenario when they come to competition. All they know is the topic. They don't know what the details are of the scenario. So they have to be very well prepared. Oh, this is the creative part. This is where they really get to put it together. They can sing a song, they can pantomime, they can write poetry, they can do a rap. They, they have many different avenues that they can take to uh, put their message across. And that can be overwhelming for some until they do it and say, oh, I really can, and this is really cool, and then they get more excited to do it again and again. The smiles on their faces when they're competing, when they finish the competition, whether or not they win, they lose, it doesn't matter, they're just pumped up. In every event, no matter what the level, your work as a future problem-solving coach gives your students new opportunities to succeed in the classroom and in life. This will be the kind of program that, that you will know from the get-go that you're making a difference in kids' lives that 10 years from now or 15 years from now, those kids will remember what you did with them and it will have affected their life in a positive way. And, and oftentimes coaches tell me that, that this is an opportunity to see kids doing things that they never realized kids were, were capable of doing. You know, it, it goes beyond the reciting and covering the material in a book. And uh, a lot of times coaches who are teachers tell me that, that this is the most exciting part of their professional life. It reminds them of why they wanted to be teachers to begin with. It satisfies my intellectual curiosity as well as a teacher. I can't churn out the same thing year after year. I would die of boredom. It's the most amazing thing. To see these kids and their intelligence is just amazing. And, and this exposure, this, uh, you know, to allow kids, especially from our area, who come from a very rural area, to come and be exposed to all countries and states. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, it's mega opportunities for children. You can teach and sometimes not know if you connect. And I think here, the one-on-one -on -one opportunity is going to give them all kinds of feedback and help as they continue on with their career. So I would encourage it wholeheartedly. I say go ahead and join. Do your best. It's a great experience. It gets in your blood, let's put it that way. As one student said one time, this is the hardest thing I've ever done, the most challenging, and I love it. And that's what it's all about.